Okay, um, yeah, this is a video that I wanted to wait several days to do just because I want to kind of take in everything that was said, kind of like get my thoughts together. And I just know that this is kind of like an initial reaction to Kanye West's tweets and then TMZ interview and pretty much talking about how 400 years of slavery, that was a choice and how ridiculous it all was. Uh, yes, I will be doing a live stream later today on my channel uh, because I definitely want to hear um, the thoughts of everybody else out there. I just have to say this much. First off, you know, I have not been a Kanye fan for a while, uh, not necessarily because of his controversial lifestyle and things he's said and done. But in terms of the music, I've just hasn't been a fan. I haven't been a fan for quite some time. I still love like uh, what was it the dropout album where he does like you know through the wire and stuff I feel like old Kanye is definitely my favorite hands down but um in terms of his comments and all I just let me just put it this way in most cases I don't really care what celebrities have to say about certain issues because sometimes it's like one-sided but at the same time it's like everyone is entitled to their own opinion that much I will agree on but my thing is, when you hold a certain platform, when you have a voice, w which is much louder than somebody like me, like, obviously, if I said something to the extent of what Kanye said, I might get some backlash on this channel, but I doubt I would get as much backlash as, let's say, Kanye West due to his platform. He's able to walk through doors that I can't, such as, well, TMZ. And... um just spout it now nonsense i mean i believe I've, i'm sorry i forgot the name because i actually just looked at part of the tmz um interview and one of the um uh, african-american uh employee of t employee of tmz called out kanye about how what you're spouting right now is complete nonsense you're not using your brain and it really hurts me to t hear you talk about that because you are where you are now because you're a musical genius. So you're entitled to say what you want. But to actually say such mindless things is denigrating to African-Americans in general. And it's just ridiculous how he just spouted all that nonsense. And yes, I do um, watch The Breakfast Club. I'm pretty sure you all know that because of my um, videos I've done about the whole Monique Netflix thing earlier this year. I do know that uh, Charlemagne did like a hour and 48 minute interview with Kanye. I'm going to be honest here. I watched about 15 to 20 minutes. I, I'm sorry. I could not make it through the entire thing. I, I, I just didn't have the mental capacity to just listen to that nonsense. It I couldn't do it. I know that video, if I'm not mistaken, is over a couple million views by now, but I just could not bring myself to listen to it. It was just nonsense. I think when he went to TMZ, he said, you know what? I got liposuction to say that uh, that way you can't say that I'm fat. And to be honest, I do believe he did look a bit smaller in the face when he went to TMZ compared to when he went to the interview with Charlemagne. So he probably did get liposuction. I don't know. But let me just put it this way. What he said was pure nonsense, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people feel the same way. I really do not have it in me to do an entire rant video about how ridiculous Kanye West is because I feel like his actions speak for themselves. Like, I don't need to waste my time talking about what foolishness he's up to. But the one thing I don't appreciate is when people like him have this major platform and just use it to say whatever they think. And by extension, you're literally diminishing an entire race or a generation in that case of slave or well, generations of slaves and it's just i can't even put it into words my full thoughts about how ridiculous this entire thing is and then the fact that it came from a black man it was oh man but uh yeah i just don't have the time or patience to deal with this that's why i've waited so long because these videos i don't do them for views i do them because these are issues that I feel like are worthy of being discussed. Uh, just like the Bill Cosby live stream. I like to wait several days before I do these kind of videos. Yes, I can get behind this microphone the day of a big news story dropping. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would tune in. But I would rather wait a couple of days, make sure I got all the facts that come out instead of just doing a video based off my gut reaction. And then it turns out I was wrong because I only did a video based off emotion rather than pure facts. But Yes, I will be doing a live stream probably later this evening or tonight. I definitely want to get your thoughts on this because I feel like it was an embarrassment to black people. But to be honest, I feel like the fact that a lot of black people and 
white people, just people in general, were just uh, what's what's the word flabbergasted about how Kanye went on this ridiculous rant. Then he tried to justify it on Twitter. It was about it's like a we. I don't want the same mistake to happen again. You know, it's about a state of mind. Like, well, it wasn't just African Americans being mentally like, oh my God, it's like we have to be stuck in slavery. It's a choice. When even in Black Panther, Killmonger said, you know what, if you want to kill me, like just throw me, throw my ashes out into the ocean, along with the bodies of all the um, African-Americans who knew that death was better than slavery because they threw themselves off the slave ship. So back then it was not a choice. It was pretty much, I I can't even. So yeah, I'm going to cut this video off right here. I literally do not have the energy to go into this. I hope the live stream will definitely be, um, um, pumping up with comments because I really want to get other people's thoughts on this. So subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on the um, live stream. Uh, be sure to click the notification icon. I believe it's like a bell. That way you're notified whenever I do videos or post a live stream because this is one topic I'm sure people will chime in. And I did see the um, Quiet Place parody on SNL last night about the Kanye tweets. I will admit that was pretty funny.